making a time lapse of the Thames. Oh, I'm sorry. That's all right. I'd ask the same question. So I've just done a quick run up to the Thames. So today is the Queen's Jubilee first bank holiday. So it's a four day bank holiday weekend. I've run up here to the Thames, my favorite spot with the water tower. Um, it's not a long run today. I'm only gonna do about four or five miles. I haven't made any running videos for a while. Um, I've uploaded a few of my narrowboat videos onto the channel. So today is a quick update of where I am. Um, not a lot to share really since my last since my last running video. The other thing I thought I'd mention really quickly is I have a new pair of kicks. A couple of things that have changed. So the first thing is I've deleted the app that I use to track all my runs off of my phone. Two reasons I've done that. Firstly is because I um, was pushing myself too hard uh, and it was the wrong kind of training for me. I wasn't really enjoying it. I was running more for time, partly because I did the 5K, couch to 5K challenge and that really affected how I did my running. Uh, and then the second reason is uh, I just want to enjoy the runs a bit more. So I've still been training for my 100 mile training week. I'm still not quite ready for it yet. My first challenge is gonna be the 100 mile training week, which is what I'm training for at the moment. I've given myself about 20 weeks. I haven't um, set a firm date in the diary. We've had some stuff going on with the business and personal stuff, which has kind of put uh, a lot of time restraints on when I'm able to run. Um, I spend a lot of time trying to fit the runs in. So with today being the Queen's Jubilee, Maddie and I have decided to walk up to Coalhouse Fort which is just behind me. Um, they have a beacon, an old beacon, but as part of the Queen's celebrations, the Queen tonight is gonna to light the first beacon at, I believe, Buckingham Palace. So we're gonna have a walk up after seven and watch it. If I'm lucky, I should have some time-lapse of the lighting of the beacon. Oh, God. Can you see us, Mad? Yeah. Look, yeah. so I'm with Mad. And we're walking up to the fort now. So we've got a three mile walk and then we're gonna the we're gonna watch. What I'm just filming You're what? just filming your chin. <laughs> yeah. Just filming my chin. And then we're gonna watch the lighting of the beacon. Oh. Whoa! <laughs> Dear Pinet. He fell over then. <laughs> and the music's really loud up here, so we're gonna say it now. This is the Thames here and we've been a bit cheeky <laughs> because we've walked along this footpath here where I run and uh, in the hope it actually gets us closer to the beacon. Yeah. Are you just sitting on the floor Mad? Yeah. Oh, okay. And I have two breadsticks. So this is this is where we've made it. This is where Is that what they're lighting? Yeah that's what they're lighting. That's where the crowd is over there. And then this here so we've like isolated this, ourselves. Yeah this is not social people. This is the closest I can get to. This is the beacon that they're going to light. Has it always been there? Yeah. Always? Yeah. Never noticed it. Yeah, I have. But we're a lot closer stood here to film the lighting of this beacon. So I'm going to Google now to find out when the first one's lit at Buckingham Palace and it should tell us when this one's lit. Wow, look, look, look. <laughs> <laughs> so. So originally, Mad, beacons would have been a form of communication. So if, like, if you'd have known that an armada was coming or there was an invading you army, it. you would have lit one beacon where you would have seen it and then the next person that could see your beacon would light theirs. Just say and then the person scared. after that would see the second one and would light the third one and eventually it would light the beacons wherever like they the need Lord to communicate. Of the Rings. Yeah. yeah. But Lord of the Rings got all their facts from history. Mad, they're playing. Yeah. Oh, they're very quiet. Oh, how, can, how can they be more quiet than the music that was playing over the speaker? <laughs> Mad, I've Googled it. Yes. So, what time are the Jubilee beacons being lit tonight? Beacons, lighting, is and where? What time are Jubilee beacons <laughs> being lit? <laughs> I struggled with that because I'm trying to read it through the camera. 
What time are the Jubilee beacons being lit tonight? So it says here, so the Jubilee beacons will be lit around the UK and Channel Islands at 9.45 today. Where are we? So that's more than 3,500 beacons wow. are being lit. So this is one, Mad, here that you're sat near. Of 3,000. Let's see if I can get it in the background. That's one of 3,500 beacons being lit. So I'm assuming that they're all being lit at the same time then, at 9.45. Right, Mad, I found the answer. Yeah. I found it, look. All beacons will be lit at the same time at 9.45, while a principal beacon is expected to be alight during an official ceremony at Buckingham Palace to send the first day uh, to, to end the first day <laughs> of national events. Cool. So, we have an hour. slightly different to the first article. Yeah. So we have an hour. <laughs> We're completely on our own. Better watch the beacon. What took so long, Scarlet? We're not so all the way round. Yeah, that's the only way to get round. What are you doing? I'm freezing. <laughs> You're cold, man. Yeah. You're cold, Scarlet. Not really. Oh, okay. I'll give it back then. <laughs> so, we've read three websites. One yeah. said it starts at 9:15. One said it starts at 9:30, and one said it's 9:45. Oh. One website said it's going to be lit one by one. Uh, and in another website, they're all lit at the same time, with the queens being so the first the one. At 9:45. Yeah. So oh, we're not we're not. First, the last at 9:45. We're, oh, we're not. Know. We're not 100 percent sure of what time it's going to be lit. You can see it from over there. Oh yeah, they're, they're lighting one in Gravesend, so you should be able to see it. Can you see over here? That's fireworks. Where? Directly in front. Can you, now. can you see a beacon over there? No. Where was the fireworks? Like, you right see that smoke. Oh. You can see the smoke. Oh. Maybe that's where the beacon is. Yeah, there. that's probably where the beacon is. Where those fireworks were. It's very hard to tell with all those. You can see an orangey tinge though. Yeah. That is it there. You can see the tinge. Oh, I see it. Yeah. Yeah, you can see you the can't, tinge. I won't pick that up on camera. But right there, there, the there is a, on top of the hill. yeah, there is a, tinge. yeah, there is a beam, that's where the an orange tinge through the trees. Yeah. Wow, that's well and truly gone now, look. <laughs> he was struggling. Where, and what can you see? The Tilbury beacon. <laughs> where? Yeah, I can see it. It's. I don't think. Oh yeah, you can. I can pick it up just there, just and then there's the great there. One up there. That's the Tilbury beacon. You can. Right. Can you see it? The Tilbury one. Oh, it might be the Perfleet. Yeah. Oh, that's a good point actually. Yeah. Then that'll be the Gravesend one. You can see it just through the trees. On the top of the hill, you can see the smoke going up. And there's a tiny orange glow. <laughs> tiny. Wait, you can see one. Oh yeah. Where? Over there. Behind the lights. You can see the orange oh, glow. Oh yeah. Oh, that's a good one. Just there. there. There's a there's a glow on the horizon. That's exactly what they would have seen as well, just a glow. Oh that's good. Oh, that's you a can good see spot. Four from here. This was a good spot to stand, wasn't it? Yeah. Wasn't it girls? Was it good? Good spot. Can't see that one. It's freezing. So in front of us we have the coal house fort one. Uh, this direction, um, the man said it's perfectly. I think he's right. I think that's too far away for it to be Tilbury. Then we've got um, the boats in the way. Oh, one, bit, one in this direction. Which we think is Gravesend. Gravesend or Gillingham or somewhere yeah and then there's one this way that one's really good yeah i'm not quite sure and you it, it's like a yeah it's like a fire on the horizon yeah yeah really good spot being able to see being able to see out across all of the thames are you in all right <laughs> you can't get us all in. and the beacon get the beacon in there we go we're all in 
Okay, so that's it. We're done. That's the that's the Queen's Jubilee day one of the bank holiday four day weekend, second of June. The beacon has been lit, and it's one of them things that will only ever be lit for special occasions like today. Yeah, it's good. Give me five. Everyone's leaving. Quick. Give me five, Starly. Everyone's gone. Everyone's gone. Everyone's gone. Oh, everyone's gone. <laughs>